Fabian Picardo told Parliament Gibraltar has the opportunity for a treaty, but not the certainty of it. The EU Commission still doesn't have a mandate, he said. The framework was imperfect and there was still much work to do on it. The Chief Minister read a statement from the Foreign Secretary, in which Dominic Raab said the framework had already been sent to the EU in order to initiate negotiations on the treaty. The governments of both the United Kingdom and Gibraltar judge that this framework provides a firm basis to safeguard Gibraltar's interests. The United Kingdom and Gibraltar are committed to ensuring that cross-border arrangements can continue in the interim until a new treaty enters into force. Arrangements have been agreed with Spain that include provisions for the border, goods and people, road transport, health care, waste disposal, waste disposal and data. In addition, the UK government provided financial and other support to ensure that Gibraltar was fully prepared for the end of the transition period. Fabian Picardo said the movement of goods is not covered by Schengen. He said a bespoke customs arrangement could be arrived at following consultation with businesses. Replying to the leader of the opposition, the chief minister said, as with all negotiations, there had obviously been give and take. He asked Keith Asopardi to be realistic. When the opposition leader asked why we are where we are, the UK with a treaty while Gibraltar continues to face the possibility of a hard Brexit six months down the line. The leader of the opposition said the GSD had serious reservations about the contents of the framework, jurisdiction and control. Dr. Sopardi said after four years we'll be left with the prospect of Spanish officers on the rock and asked whether we're just kicking the can down the road. Dr. Sopardi asked the chief minister to curb his enthusiasm and see the agreement for what it was a compromise with a price to pay. MP and Together Gibraltar leader Marlene Hassan Naon said the UK should have held back its own deal so as not to leave Gibraltar out. That's what family does, she said. The chief minister argued that a strong UK was a better ally for Gibraltar than one with no deal. Ms Hassan Naon said she recognised the hard work that has gone into making the best of a bad situation and that the agreement had her party's in principle support. She asked for clarification on whether Frontex checks would apply to Gibraltar, saying the people of Gibraltar needed clarity and that this narrative kept changing, something the chief minister denied. She also called for clarity on the economic impact, saying the government had to make clear what needs to change and what the change will cost us. The MP asked what would have happened if the tables were reversed and the opposition had done this deal with the GSLP Liberals on the other side. The opposition's obligation, she said, was to call out hypocrisy and spin. The Chief Minister said he took the remarks of the opposition overall as a qualified mandate to move on.